Hey there, Sharon Horn Nelson here. Welcome to day 1,686 of What's She Up To Now. Bite one's tongue. Is this an area to of communication to soap? You apply the soap framework, S-O-A-P, or to improve, an area that you want to improve. Any area that we want to improve in our life, this year, the last year, and in 2020, we have been applying the SOAP framework to a, a simple four-step process and framework that we can use and learn and install in our subconscious to guarantee that we always get better results anytime we're faced with a change, a challenge, a setback, an obstacle, a roadblock, something that is a problem that we're facing. It guarantees that we're always going to get the best possible solution for us, given all the criteria and the things that are going on right now in our life. And move us toward continuous improvement for the rest of our life. So this month we're focusing on the area of communication. And every month this year and pretty much every other month the previous two years, we have applied the SOAP framework to an area or an aspect of our life. I use a, a seven step and then a nine step framework that covers each of the main areas of our life. And if we set goals and if we set our life up and we use that framework to move toward what we want all the time, we're going to make sure we're moving and getting better every day in the direction that we want our life to go. Now, will there be ups and downs? Absolutely. Will there be some areas of our life that need more attention at certain times than others? Of course there will be. But uh, this is my place and my segment, uh, given different challenges and things that are going on in my life, that I use to kind of keep track and journal what's going on in my businesses and in my life. What's working, what's not working, lessons that I've learned, uh, and then things that I'm working on pieces of content that I share every day are two for sure and then this one but I share an idiom in my supersize your business for female entrepreneurs group every day and this year I've aligned it the topic at least with the annual challenge the BU 365 day challenge to do one thing every day that improves us this year's annual challenge is different than the previous challenges I've done this is our fifth year in a row I've done lots of other annual challenges and lots of different length challenges but I like the annual ones because we can pick them up and we can do a little bit every day and it will ensure that we're moving toward what we want by just doing one simple action every day. Sometimes the actions are super duper easy and they're a no-brainer and we just think about them and do it and it's done. Other days it requires us to use a little more thought or take a little more action. But for the most part, it's nothing that takes more than a couple of minutes a day to listen and do the action and guarantee that we're going to be moving toward what it is that we want. So today our challenge for today was to just think about what area of communication we want to improve in. What area of communication in our life needs a little bit of attention? Maybe it's communicating with certain people. Maybe it's, you know, understanding and making sure that our message gets across clearly to our significant other, to our children, to our grandchildren, granddaughters, uh, to our parents, to our siblings. It, maybe it's a, a relationship we want to improve by improving the communication. Maybe it's a type of communication we want to get better at. We've talked about 14 plus different modes of communication. And so maybe it's one of those we want to. I've done, gosh, at least 10, 12, 13, I don't even remember how many, but at least 13 or 14 different communication areas in my life in the past couple of years that I've specifically applied the SOAP framework to and made improvements in. This month, I decided for this challenge, I'm going to look at my social media communication. That's one of the areas that I think could use a, a beef up and a, a concerted effort and a thoughtful approach versus just the way I've been doing it over the last few years. So that's the one I selected. That's the area of communication that I'm going to apply the SOAP framework to over the next four days. And, and there, again, I mentioned and we talked about in the last couple of days with respect to communication, all the different areas we could pick. And there's definitely not an all-inclusive list. There might be one other more specific thing that you want to work on, people in the challenge. So we talked about that. And then our idiom for today for Supersize Your Business was to bite one's tongue. When do we shut our mouths, keep our mouth shut, just not say anything? And I shared my thoughts on that. Basically, when it's none of my business or when it's something I don't want to choose to spend my time and energy and participate in, I just don't say anything or I keep my bite my tongue and keep my mouth shut. I just don't participate. Uh, hung out with my granddaughters very late doing my videos today because I need to be flexible in my life, right? And it's a holiday weekend here in the United States, Labor Day, which is an interesting holiday for me personally. Has been a lot of stuff that's happened to me 
big, big, big stuff in the past. And so this weekend is one where I make sure I pay attention to the things that are most important to me. And that is, of course, my family. So I had a sleepover with my granddaughters last night, which was super duper fun, at my sister's house, which is always entertaining. She's got an awesome house. We laid out in the her new deck and under the stars and stuff and so that was when me visually challenged it's hard to see the stars but I could see one so I was excited about that and they could see a whole bunch she said that the stars are so beautiful the sky is full of stars I'm like oh that's nice but we had a great time sitting out there and my daughter my not my daughter my granddaughter had gotten a uh, weird light up thing unicorn sword thing at the state fair during the day and so she was entertaining us with that on the deck my sister and I all right if I can help you anyway, hit me up. Jamagrandma at gmail.com is my Voxer handle. You can find me there or you can direct message me. Uh, and that's it for today. Have an awesome day. I'll be with you tomorrow.